and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I film and edit my videos with the vision impairment. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ashley. I'm a disabled New Zealand YouTuber looking to educate and spread awareness for disability while also giving advice on fashion, interior design, beauty and disability. If that sounds interesting to you then please consider subscribing. But today I'm going to be talking about how I film and edit my videos with the vision impairment. For those of you who don't know, I have CVI or cortical visual impairment as well as no peripheral vision right hemianopia and other things like no lower field or not very good depth perception and things like that. So today I'm going to be showing you how I film and edit my videos with all of that. First, let's talk about how I film my videos. First, you want to start with a tripod, either a ring light tripod or just any kind of tripod, one that's easy to use that you can adjust the height on so you know how tall to make it depending on how tall you are and whether you want to be standing or sitting down when you're filming. Then you want to use a camera, either use a camera with a flip out screen screen or, which I think is better, using a smartphone, either any kind of smartphone. I use an iPhone 11, but again, it depends what you feel comfortable using and what you have lying around at home. For me personally, the reason I like using a smartphone or an iPhone is just because you have that bigger screen to work with and you know that you're more likely to be in shot because you know, okay, this is where the camera is. And because with things like actual cameras, you know, you're looking at the monitor, you're looking at the screen rather than looking at the lens. So that's another reason why I go for using smartphones or iPhones because then you're more likely to be looking straight ahead at the actual camera as well as looking at the screen. Whereas if you use like say just a regular camera, you're looking at the lens. So you're always looking to the side instead of looking straight ahead. Now, nothing is perfect, but this is actually at least I found using a phone to be a lot easier to get rid of that problem. Then the next thing is obviously lighting. You want to film during the day with a window to the side of you, not behind or in front of you, but to the side just so that you are able to be nice and clear as well as just not having to worry about getting the sun in your eyes or things like that. If it's dark, use a ring light or other lights to kind of set the mood, especially depending on what kind of video you're making. That can also be really easy to adjust. All you need to do is Stand, look at your camera, adjust different things like maybe turn it until you know where you want to stand and then once the shot looks good you just stand there and it's going to be good. Again you can get someone to help you beforehand but you know if you are like me you're filming totally by yourself, you've got no money and you're just doing it just you then the best thing I can say is just make sure that it's the right height, make sure that you use something that is easy for you to see, like an iPhone, and make sure that you adjust everything beforehand, like adjust where the stand is, where you're standing, all of that. Just have a few practice runs and then that way you'll know where to stand when you film. Moving on to editing. Now when it comes to editing your videos, this can be a little bit more difficult. Me, I just use iMovie on my phone and then on my iPad. I do not have a laptop. I used to have one, but I traded it for an iPad Pro. The screen is a lot bigger and easier for me to use and I just prefer using iPads. So having a nice, big, clear screen and an easy to use iPad is just better for me. But again, if you prefer laptops, go ahead. There are so many different editing softwares out there. You don't have to use iMovie. I just do because it's the easiest for me to use. So what I will do is I will film an entire video in iMovie on my phone. Then I will go in and edit it on my phone just using the site I do have, kind of hold the phone close to my face. And it's just a little bit easier for me to film and edit that way. So sometimes I'll edit as I'm going to make sure that if I slip up, I just quickly edit it or refilm something if I need to. And then once I've got it all good on my phone and I've done quick edits, then it's time to export it to my iPad. I just airdrop it to my iPad and then I start editing that way. Again, I do a few different things. For example, if the lighting is terrible, then there are a few different things I'll do. First of all, I'll change the grain. So if the lighting is bad in the video and it's kind of grainy, I'll first go into something like just photos which is something that's amazing nowadays is that photos is like its own app now especially if you've got like a newer iPhone 
or a newer iPad. It's not just photos, it's also videos that are in photos now that you can change, you can get rid of the grain, you can do all of these cool things. Just add different filters right on top in photos. So that's something I'll do which is really easy and makes it really quick. It's just another quick and easy way going straight from my phone to my iPad, just doing a quick little touch up. You can also get different apps that have different filters that you can just add as well if you need to. It might be a little bit difficult to know what different things to use in different apps. I've always found that to be a little bit tricky, but you can either take a screenshot of it and blow it up or put voiceover on and then it's a lot easier to get it to read to you. I know it doesn't always work, but if you don't know what something is, then just leave it and go on to something else that you do know how it works. It just takes time with any new app you just need to figure out okay what are these different filters how do they work just play around with it especially when you're making your first couple of videos it doesn't need to be perfect you can just play around with it and then just go ahead and do it again and then that way you just practice and practice and you know okay these are the apps that work these are the devices I like using and once you know that it makes it a lot easier and like I said I just use iMovie when I'm finished I just export it all into iMovie I add other things like the subscribe button on top that I get from different things so it's all about that kind of stuff which is quite easy to use once you know how to do it so like I said when it comes to editing your videos there are a few things you can do you can either start with it on iMovie like I do and just make minor changes to it and then go into your iPad or your laptop and just add other filters on top using different apps again it all just takes practice knowing what to do just play around with different apps it took me a while to figure out what apps I liked using some of them have built-in things like subscribe buttons and stuff that you can just add on top it depends what app you like using and what one is comfortable for you and what one just speaks to you again when it comes to filming as well just do what works for you for me because I still have quite a bit of vision I'm able to know where to stand again I'll come close to the camera I'll set it up so I know where to stand and then I will stand where I think I need to stand and maybe I'll move over a little bit if I feel like I need to but for the most part that's how I do it I just make sure that it's the right height that I am standing where I need to stand and then if it is a bit grainy or doesn't look quite right I'll just go in and edit that usually on photos and then export it to iMovie or any other software that I want to use again just any app that you can get from the app store do a little bit of research find which one works best for you the easier the better I've found but if you want something that's more complicated because you're better at that kind of stuff like editing then go for it but me I don't really know how to edit that well so for me it's all about the filming and then just the simple edits that make my filming look good I don't really worry about all the extra things that kind of go on top sometimes I'll put pictures on top or other things like that in iMovie but for the most part I don't worry about all the extra transitions and other things you can get from other apps I mostly use other apps just for filters and stuff like that but that's personally just what I do again it depends on whether or not you're like a proper filmmaker or you're just getting started like I was but for me even though I've been doing this for a while now I still keep it pretty simple I just use iMovie and a few other apps that I've found that really help and again I just film straight on my phone and then make minor edits then export it to my iPad do a few other things and then export it to YouTube and upload it so that is what I do again everybody is different I hope that this video was helpful to you if it was then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video and share this video with your friends if you'd like to and I will see you in my next video Bye!